Yo, what's up, guys? It's Aptrix here. Today, in this video, we'll be finally checking out the Fix Emulator on Android. As you guys know, one of the biggest projects, which is Cassia Windows Emulator for Android, uses Fix Core because it is apparently very optimized and should be one of the best Windows emulators for Android. So, on the GitHub page of Fix Android repository, which is official and completely open source, you will be able to find a script which you can use on Termux as we use with Mobox and many other Windows emulator to set up the Fix Emulator on our Android devices. Let's quickly get into the minimum requirements as you guys can see Android version 8 or above and this specific setup of Fix Simulator supports low end Android devices which is one of its specialities so if you want to set it up then yeah Android 8 or above it will also support Adreno 6 series as well as possibly 7 series it has DRI3 patch though Mali GPU etc are not supported at least for now so make note of it minimum system requirement is that Snapdragon 845 processor or above and 6 to 8 GB of RAM. So Snapdragon 845 is very old, like almost 6 to 7 year old now. So obviously any mid-range device of today with Snapdragon processor can compete with these old flagship processors so you don't have to worry about it. With that being said, let's get started with the setup of Fix Simulator Android. As usual, we'll be simply using the Termux app to execute the script for the setup of Fix Simulator Android. So right here as you guys can see Fix Android setup please allow storage so we'll just go ahead and tap on the enter button. Do you want to set up Fix Simulator? Let's just go ahead and tap on the yes button. Afterwards choose whatever and then just go ahead and tap on the enter button. Now is the process which will take some amount of time. You will have to wait 5 to 10 minutes patiently until the setup process is completed. Alright there we go guys Fix Emulator has been completely set up. So now we just have to type the Fix command to run the emulator. Once that has been done it will ask you which wine version do you want to use. The Wine 8.15 which is stable and recommended or Wine Proton 8.0.4. There is also Wine GE Proton 15 which we won't be using so let's go with the first option after First tap on the yes button. Once it adds wine 8.15 you will see something like this has been set for fix simu just go ahead and tap on the enter button. And now you will see and command central just like the mobox simulator where you get the first option to start the fix simulator. The second one is to configure the third one will be wine. So let's go to the configure option. Afterwards DRI3 make sure that it has been enabled. Vulkan support is also present in Fex Simulator just like Mobox so you can get a really good FPS and Fex has also been selected so let's just go ahead and tap on the cancel button afterwards let's tap on the start Fex Emu tap on enter and it will automatically just like the Mobox Simulator open the Termux X11 by the way make sure to use the Termux X11 provided by the developers on their github page and after waiting for few seconds your emulator will successfully start when you open it for the first time you will mainly see and black screen but make sure that you do not close the emulator by panicking it's not as fast as mobox emulator in terms of uh, the emulator opening but there we go as you guys can see we have successfully set up fex emulator on our android devices which is supposed to be for learned android devices and for stable windows emulation on android anyways you won't get any major customization like mobox emulator it is pretty simple you can choose the dxvk version as usual we'll go with a synchronous dxvk 1.10.3 so just go ahead and tap on it. Afterwards just go ahead and tap on the start button. Wait for few seconds. Let's go to VD3D Proton. Now let's keep it as default for today's video. Now one thing you will notice is that it will ask you press any key to continue. So you can use your keyboard just go ahead and type anything afterwards tap on enter. It should successfully be set up. Let's go back to the start option and check out if DXVK Asynchronous 1.10.3 has been added. And that basically sums up the setup of Fix Simulator on your Android devices. If this video reaches 200 likes, we'll be testing out GTA 5 on Fix Simulator on my Android device OnePlus 11. So be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notification because once the emulator has set up, you'll also need to set up the input bridge controls and only after that you can try out some games. So yeah, be sure to subscribe if you want to see that video. Anyways, that's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.